Okay, a few days ago, we saw how to create uh, DGT translation memories on Windows. Today, we will do the same on a Mac. I'll click on Download here, and uh, I can see the program file that we downloaded, but it was for Windows. And uh, here, there is another file that we can download, and it's called Java Byte Code. And the name of that file is tmextract.jar. I will download it and I will also download one of the 28 zip files that can be used to create uh, the DGT translation memories. So here on my desktop, I have a folder called DGT in which I have uh, both the program that I just mentioned and one of the zip files. Now there are instructions on how to use uh, that uh, program. Here, uh, four other operating systems. It's a bit complicated. They talk about starting a command shell and so on. So let's see how to do it on a Mac. I will go to Spotlight and in Spotlight, I will type terminal and I will start the terminal. Now I will use the ls command to list the content of uh, my current directory. I can see I have desktop here, so I will change to that directory with the cd command, cd desktop. And again, I will list the content of my desktop. It's DGT, so I will change to that directory with the cd DGT command. And again, ls. And now I can see my file. So now I'm able to enter the command that is included in the instruction. So I will type java dash jar and then the name of the program, which is uh, tmextract.jar. Next, I will need to enter the source and target languages, so I will use German DE and Polish PL. The name of the output file will be dgtde-pl.tmx. The input file will be vol, so everything starting with vol, then asterisk, dot, and then zip all files with the zip extension. And now I can press uh, enter. And my TMX has been created with uh, about 8,000 translation units. So I can exit from this session and I can quit terminal. Now, if I go to my DGT folder, I can see the TMX file we just created and I will open it in TextEdit. Here it is in TextEdit and uh, it looks fine to me. So I can see there are umlauts on uh, German vowels and uh, the Polish text also look uh, fine to me with a lot of complicated characters. I don't know Polish, but if you are fluent in Polish and you can see there's something wrong, do tell me in the comments below. Next, I will open this TMX in WordFast Pro for Mac. But before I do this, I need to change the language code for Polish from PL-01 to PL-PL. Let's do the replacement, replace PL-PL and replace all. Now I have the right code. I can close the TMX and I will go to WordFast Pro. In WordFast Pro, I will select the TM. It's a local TM, add TM, and I will browse to my DGT folder. I will select Translation Memory Exchange for TMX, and it's this one here. Open, and OK. Now WordFast Pro is converting the file, and all 8,000 translation units were converted. Next, let's go to the TM administration perspective. And the TM is here. And I can double click to see the content. And again, I have uh, my German and Polish texts, which look fine to me. So there you have it, how to create uh, TMX translation memories on a Mac and how to import them in WordFast Pro for Mac. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.